Hey friends, happy Sunday. And since it's Sunday, it makes it a perfect day for us to go out and actually do some Disney theme park memorabilia hunting and find what we can find at some of our local flea markets and yard sales right here in Orlando, right next to uh, Walt Disney World. So, let's go do this. Our first stop is going to be the Visitor's Flea Market right here in Kissimmee across the street from Old Town and inside here they have some amazing boots. In fact, one of the vendors in here actually has some of the rarest Disney pins in existence. So it's really cool to see the stuff that you would probably never see. I just love visiting places like this because it's so amazing the things that you can find. And like I said, some amazing Disney stuff too. Some of the boots that I'm going to show you are here year round and then some of them are just random Sunday Let's open up a booth and sell all of our stuff from inside the garage and I like that The first place I'm going to show you is Booster Packs and Beyond And this place has like I said some of the rarest Disney pins out there plus some other amazing Disney memorabilia this picture right here is something I've been eyeing up for a while. I would really love to get this. I love how it's just a perfect layout of Seven Seas Lagoon and Bay Lake. You got the monorail and the contemporary, the Polynesian. This is really nifty and it's actually marked 34300. So very rare. And then for the die-hard Epcot fans, take a look at this Epcot plaque with pins. How amazing is this? World of Motion pin, Horizons, Wonders of Life, The Land, Journey into Imagination, Communicore. This is a cast member exclusive. Only a thousand of these were put together. That is super rare because I think it came out in 1997. Yeah, 1982 to 1997. This was to celebrate 15 years. And like I said previously, some of the rarest Disney pins you will ever see are actually in this little store right here. And look at this right here. This pin is actually limited one of five. I'm going to show you the back side of it. They've already been cleaned and sanitized. But we've got to be careful. Right there. One of five. And this pin is actually earned by cast members. And uh, they've only given out three of them. And one of them is here. The other one is in the Disney archives. These pins right here are actually one of 10. So only 10 of these actually exist. And one of them's here, like I said, unbelievable. And like I said, not only pins they sell here, they also have some amazing Disney park history stuff. Like take a look down here. That little pink slip there is an actual pass to Pleasure Island. I really love that. That's a Pleasure Island day pass. And then of course, a bunch of limited Disney dollars. And these ones vary. I don't know if I can see them too good. They have Simba, they have the Dalmatians. The prices vary on them, but those are always an awesome little find. I've always wanted to actually start a collection of Disney dollars and try to get all the ones that I want. Obviously, I think the 101 Dalmatian dollar is probably my favorite one. I would love to come across one of those. And then also take a look at these very old Disney figurines. This one was from 1957. This little Dumbo Disneyland. That's amazing. And the little piggy there, 1940. Also take a look at this really awesome 1957 original cell of Donald Duck. I think that is amazing. You can see it's starting to deteriorate a little bit, but still kept well. One thing that I think is really strange, but pretty awesome, is the last will and testament of Walter E. Disney. This is a copy of that. I can't even believe I'm looking at this. I mean, this isn't the original one. This is just a copy, but still, that's pretty remarkable. They also have these amazing Walt Disney World cast atlas. These ones actually have never been opened before. It's a little bit of history right there for you. This is really interesting because they don't do this anymore, but this is an honorary citizen certificate. This was actually, the date is 1981, but we don't know how long they actually kept running this for. 
I think this is awesome. And there's a couple of them here. So you can actually buy your own <laughs> certificate and make yourself an honorary citizen. I think I'm actually gonna get one of those honorary citizen certificates. <laughs> These are just so awesome. Look at this. 1982 Epcot Center is open. Wow. I love this. I'm sorry guys, I am just blown away by these old Walt Disney newspaper and then company like newsletters. This is like gold to me. I really love all of this. And take a look at all of this. This is a log movement for Tom Sawyer's Island in, and Fort Wilderness. This is the proposal plan. And then over here, is the news briefing for Epcot. This was given out to all the cast members, 1982. This stuff to me is just like gold. I love all of this and I gotta be very careful with it. Along with the pins, they actually have some of the coolest Haunted Mansion pin sets I've ever seen. And these are all the Haunted Mansion stuff that I absolutely love. This is really cool because it's 999 Happy Hans. And then the pin that actually comes with this set is really nifty because it's the uninvited guest. Huh. And they just keep on getting better as we're going down. This is a whole entire rack, like I said, behind a glass shelf. That's awesome, isn't it? Let me get down a little bit more. These things are very expensive, but very rare and very special. And I always point this out, but I appreciate how all of the pins are actually set up by the movies or by the genres that they are, like Nightmare Before Christmas, and then they're all labeled that way. Haunted Mansion pins, Wreck-It Ralph, everything is just perfectly labeled and it's easy to find whatever you're looking for. 101 Dalmatians, very cool. Some more very cool pins. This is a Club 33 pin from Disneyland. This is the Club 33 door. And if you take a look inside, I'm gonna try to flip it open. Oh, yeah. You take a look inside, Walt's standing in the door. Just to show you how detailed pin trading actually can get, these pins right here are all the same pins, except for these three are what you call PP, so pre-production. These ones are the ones they send out to have people look at to say, yes, I'd like to do that, or if they wanna make some changes. So you notice like Mickey's outfit's yellow, then it goes gold. So they actually change it from one to another, and then the final product was this one. That's pretty amazing, isn't it? Here is their information if you want to come check out this place because like I said, it's amazing. Not just for the pins, but all those historical newspapers and actual like papers from cast members. That just blows my mind. I'm actually buying some of them today. Now we're gonna actually jump down the road a little bit, about two minutes away to another really nifty location that I happen to know about. And here is the other spot I was talking about. This is the Character Corner. This is an actual store that's open basically five days a week. And it has amazing Disney collectibles in here and a good pin section. I showed this store off before when I was kind of decorating for my apartment when I first moved in. I got some nifty Mickey soap dishes, but I wanted to come back and show you some other amazing stuff because there's a lot in here. And just take a look at this right here. This is an actual railroad spike from the Disneyland Railroad. It's marked 58 out of 100, but that is something amazing on its own. I love that. And then take a look at these really nifty old vintage license plates. I love this contemporary resort one, MGM Studios, Main Street Electrical Parade. That is awesome. That's from the Cast Summer Celebration. These were all about like 20, 30 dollars. That's a pretty good deal. Another cool thing, and I pointed this out before, it's all these used cast member actual name tags. And you can just see that maybe one of these is your name. Well, I mean, if there was a Nathan one, I'd probably buy it right now, but not seeing no Nathan. 
see a lot of esters and bobs <laughs> i don't know why historical disney artifacts just catch my attention i just love it i love the history of disney itself they also have vintage disney shirts now these are actual walt disney world branded shirts like epcot and it even says epcot center on it that's pretty amazing another thing that i've learned to appreciate is the disney home decor stuff like the older stuff i mean i like the newer stuff but it's something about the classic mickey stuff that i really do like especially glasses that are from like the 1990s and the early 2000s some of the ones you would get at mcdonald's they're actually very popular or even like i said the soap dishes i have that itself that's sold in disney but they have tons of really cool knickknacks coffee mugs i said i was gonna get this last time i think i'm gonna get it today look at this that is awesome isn't it Another really cool mug is this Liberty Tree Tavern one. I'm telling you, this was from 1995. That's really awesome. These are collectibles to a lot of people. Even a Disney security mug protecting the magic. I also love all of these. These are the movie collector box sets. They come with the VHS version and the DVD version and they're huge, $40 a piece. They have Cinderella, Beauty and the Beast, Pinocchio, Lion King. I don't know how much these are. Oh, they say $999. I mean, $99. Woo! <laughs> they also have Aladdin and even Toy Story. And they're all unopened. Even the very rare classic 60s, 70s, and 80s Disney toys they have. Look at some of these. I always think Mickey Mouse just looks so strange. But he's definitely changed throughout the years. You can see it like from here to here to there to there. Definitely a big change in our pal. I don't know much about Barbies themselves. But I think it's really nifty that they have an Animal Kingdom Barbie. They also have more knickknacks in a glass case. You know what that means. Glass case means fancy, fancy. In the back, you can see a 25th uh, anniversary pocket watch. And then they have all of these different golden tickets, coins, and some amazing old Mickey figurines. I like that Epcot 2000 plate in the back, though. They also have a pretty impressive walt disney classic collection figurines that i actually love some of them i've never been kind of big into buying figurines but i know they're very popular and they're actually very expensive this one in the back is 599 dollars and i like these actual little film rails walt disney's three little pigs fantasia some very interesting stuff <gasps> wow that is a Walt Disney World security badge. I love that. I wonder how much that is. I'm interested in this, please. It's $100 for that Walt Disney security badge. I really like it. In fact, it, it, it says Walt Disney on it, like Walt Disney World security. $100. I don't know though. Oh boy. I think I'll stick with my contemporary mug. Yeah, $12.99. And here's all the information for the store if you want to look them up. This is their business card. And isn't it nifty? It looks like a fast pass itself. And you can get a free pin with this. Right there's their website, charactercorner.net. I think the free pin is actually in store only. But check them out. And with that, I think I am done for the day. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. I enjoyed making it. Let me know in the comments if you'd like to see more videos like this in the future. Because I love coming to these little places all the time. It's like my favorite little thing to do. Anywho's, we'll see you next time. Bye!